Hello and welcome to Bible and Beyond. This Christmas Bible quiz has 21 challenging questions to test your knowledge on the birth of Jesus. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the scriptures? When you're done, make sure you drop a comment below with how many you got right. Now it's time to embark on this biblical adventure. Let's go. Question 1. Jesus was circumcised on the eighth day of his life. True or false? The answer is true. Jesus was an Israelite and would have been circumcised according to the law of Moses on the eighth day. Question 2. The Bible says that Jesus was born in December. True or false? The answer is false. The Bible does not mention when Jesus was born. The most likely date is not the 25th of December, with the best evidence pointing towards the end of September or early October. The shepherds were still tending to their flocks in the fields. Shepherds would only keep their flocks in the fields from April to October, taking them back home to shelter them over the winter months. Question 3. Christmas wasn't celebrated for over 300 years after Jesus died. True or false? The answer is true. The first Christmas was celebrated on December 25th, 336 AD. Question four. King Herod ordered the murder of all the infants in Bethlehem. True or false? The answer is true. Shortly after Jesus was born, King Herod attempted to destroy Jesus by ordering the slaughter of all male children aged two and younger. The ecclesiastical name given to this killing of babies in Bethlehem and its surrounding regions is the Massacre of the Innocents. Question 5. The wise men were present at the birth of Jesus. True or false? The answer is false. Almost every depiction of the nativity scene shows well-dressed wise men, surrounded by shepherds, presenting their gifts to Jesus while he was in the manger. The Bible truth is very different. They met in a house, and Jesus was a young child. It's possible he was walking and talking by the time they reached him. Herod ordered the killing of all children up to two years old, for he knew that Jesus could have been nearly two years old by then. Question 6. The angels sang at the announcement of Jesus' birth. True or false? The answer is false. The popular Christmas carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, may suggest they did, but the Bible doesn't say anything specific about the angels singing. Question 7. Bethlehem is known as the city of Abraham. True or false? The answer is false. Jerusalem has been known as the city of David for more than 3,000 years as God has continued to keep the memory of his servant David alive for many generations. Both were born in Bethlehem and died in Jerusalem. Both came from obscurity to be kings. Both were devoted to God. Jesus was a descendant of David from the tribe of Judah, where David first reigned. Question 8. A manger was a crib for a baby. True or false?
The answer is false. Contrary to popular beliefs, a manger was a feeding trough for animals. Question 9. Jesus was not born in 0 AD. True or false? The answer is true. Jesus couldn't have been born in the year 0 AD as it doesn't exist historically. The calendar jumps straight from 1 BC to 1 AD. Also, Dionysius was commissioned to establish the year of Christ's birth and due to insufficient historical data, he arrived at a date which was a few years late. The birth of Christ is generally accepted to be around 5 or 6 BC. As Herod died in 4 BC, Question 10. The Bible tells us that three kings riding on camels visited Jesus. True or false? The answer is false. The Bible does mention Maggie coming to visit Jesus, but does not say how many or that they were kings riding camels. There were at least two, as the word Maggie is plural, but there could have been many more. Question 11. Early Christians celebrated the birth of Jesus. True or false? The answer is false. There is no mention of either the apostles or the early Christians celebrating the birth of Jesus. Question 12. The barn animals miraculously spoke the night Jesus was born. True or false? The answer is false. The barn animals talking is an ancient myth that has absolutely no biblical grounding. Question 13. Jesus never celebrated his birthday. True or false? The answer is true. The idea of celebrating birthdays is a pagan one, and neither the Jews, the apostles, nor Jesus celebrated them. Question 14. Mary and Joseph had more children after Jesus. True or false? The answer is true. Mary and Joseph had four boys, James, Joshes, Judas, and Simon, and two girls who were not named. Question 15. God told people to remember the death of his son. True or false? The answer is true. We take communion by eating the bread that represents his body and drink from the cup that represents his blood in remembrance of him until he comes. Question 16. The angel said, peace on earth to all men. True or false? The answer is true. The word peace refers to a peace that Jesus was to make with God at his sacrifice. Goodwill looks back to the Hebrew ratzah, which is often associated with acceptable sacrifice. Thus, goodwill toward men means reconciliation through the greatest of all days of atonement Jesus' sacrifice. Question 17. Mary gave birth on the night that she arrived in Bethlehem. True or false?
The answer is false. In Luke 2 verse 6, the Bible suggests that they were there for a few days before the time came to give birth. Question 18. The star led the wise men straight to Jesus. True or false? The answer is false. The star led them first to King Herod, after which they saw the star again leading them to Jesus. But it was two separate sightings of the star. Question 19. The 25th of December was originally the date of an ancient Roman festival. True or false? The answer is true. The 25th of December used to host a well-known festival day celebrating the annual return of the sun. It's also the first day that ancients could clearly note that the days were definitely getting longer and the sunlight was returning. On this day, the Romans worshiped the unconquered sun or sun god. The date was chosen by the Roman Catholic Church. Question 20. Two of the four gospels do not mention the birth of Christ. True or false? The answer is true. Neither Mark or John tell the story of the birth of Christ. Question 21. Christmas is not mentioned in any verse, chapter, or book of the Bible. True or false? The answer is true. Christmas, as we know it today, is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible. The New Testament contains narratives about the birth of Jesus, but the celebration of Christmas as an event on December 25th with associated traditions is not detailed in the biblical texts. How did you get on? Remember, it doesn't matter if you got a perfect score as long as you learned something new today. If you enjoyed this quiz, give it a thumbs up and share it with friends and family. Thank you for joining us today, and may God bless you abundantly.